Hey, so welcome back for part five. Um, Spider-Man 2 has been pretty good so, so far. Uh, I'm having a really good time playing the game. I know in the last part, we kind of focused mainly on like some side stuff. There was a little bit of Miles getting to meet Uncle Aaron, you know, checking up on him. Uh, but we kind of primarily focused on Miles and what's going on in his life, you know, what's going on at his school, BV. Uh, so now we'll be switching over to Peter and kind of pushing the story a little bit and right now they're kind of on the hook What's gonna happen next? Right? Raven just took Martin Lee. He took Scorpion. No one knows what's really going on So hope you guys enjoy. Let's get ready for part five Hey Pete you ready to come by the foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from MJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA level stuff. Yeah, whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job too. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Well, looks like we just got a fire to put out. So I guess we'll kind of head to that first. Uh, I know that the main quest will be waiting for us there. Wait, hold up. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some jerks are trying to break into that building. Oh, hey, Miles. What's up? Sweet. I gotta bounce, but I appreciate the assist. Uh, let me All right. Real quick. But the next post fight piece is on me. <laughs> uh, they do the Spider Man pose. I love that you can run into each other in the game. Alright, let's get back to this fire. <laughs> Somewhere more tropical. Jeez. 
Should probably check out that crystal now. It's my turn to follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall? I can relate. Chief. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. <laughs> Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. Is anyone out there? Help! Is that a robot? Hey, Spider-Man. I just relayed your location to fire and rescue. So they'll be here any minute. It's gonna be okay. Spider-Man, thank you. Hey, Clark, did you get the location I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. It's gonna be okay. should be getting a new location any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. What are those breathing exercises again? Time for my latest upgrade. Mom, she was gonna come this way soon. Hey, Clark, did you get the last location I sent your way? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider Man. Leave it to me. Help! Help! I'm coming! Just 
Jesus, hang on. Rescue's on its way. Are you okay? No, I'm good. But I saw somebody up ahead a few minutes ago. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark, I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? You're not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on it. Nobody here. Take some maneuvering. Say anything to the police. Never, never even mentioned the flame. I just, I just wanted out. Then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in, painfully. What's your deal? There you are. Hey! You never did like my smoking. Yuri? Low lives call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. I tried. To... Where have you been? 
There's no time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Yuri took off. I thought she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith? I should keep an eye on her. And the other on these cultists. I need more eyes. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Yuri's back. Uh, so in case like you, you missed it, the first Spider-Man game, the, uh, the DLC had Hammerhead involved in Pretty much of the whole like mafia thing against the police. I uh, don't want to spoil the ending to that, but it's kind of what uh, Spider-Man here was alluding to. Uh, what we saw happen with Yuri, watching this new uh, Wraith vigilante person, I'm assuming. Uh, pretty cool with the excitement. Hey, mission. what's up? Get just a new just suit. wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Feast is going to send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Can you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with uh, everything. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. Hey, hey, I'm serious. Hey, you know I'd much rather be curled up next to you with the latest physics journal right now. Is that a good photo, Spider-Man? Hey, send it to the student news page. The Spider-Man aren't the only superheroes in New York. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. That's Emily's tree. This is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh, really? But I was gonna give him a tour, let him Aside for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? We got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment. But when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Who may I ask is calling? Oh, of course. Put him through. Dr. Mulligan. That data is not compatible with the AI learning <laughs> during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? 
You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, a carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, oh nice! productive session. We got great data. Okay, why no? Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow, I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance it can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope, I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard? Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. Wait, so, so that was crazy. Does Peter know? Well, like, seems does the lizard man for everyone already to have Dr. appear? Here. Guess I'll look around. Uh, curious to find out if, like, he was the lizard man once and then returned back to normal, or, like, are they kind of. Is that like a nickname for science? I don't know. So much to see here. Where do I even start? This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Today's mindful meditation class will be held in the atrium. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? 
Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Cool. Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school, I can probably pass my middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the? Hang on. They already had a relationship. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Yeah. Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project, and lowers the old cortisol levels too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Mm -hmm. This way, dude. Sounds good. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting.
Let's see. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. All right, I kind of get it. Uh, so you just got to have them kind of connect, kind of like what we see now. Have these different sides with the same matching. I guess like what it comes like the, the gene sequence or something, but have that kind of match up with the puzzle over here. All right. Now we have four spots, but five of these. I wonder if like these two are duplicate. I only need one of them, whichever one's gonna fit the best. Okay. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Okay, this is kind of interesting. So not only now do we need to make a match, but we have requirements for which type. Okay. Okay, if I combine these traits... Mm, it's not gonna work. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I... Put it. Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... 
Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> One quick thing. <laughs> I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location so that your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right, good luck out there. What's up, Danicasters? I've seen the questions about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborne, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, AKA apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player if you happen to follow them on the socials. So, young Osborne, your foundation has a lot of work to do repairing your father's legacy, but so far, you're off to a good start. Don't forget to pay your rent on the first, or, you know, withhold your checks in protest. Whatever, do you. Later. All right, so I think I'm gonna call it here for part five. Uh, so we kind of had more of a focus on Peter this time around. We saw that he got to kind of investigate uh, this foundation. It's pretty cool. Uh, wondering, you know, exactly like what's, what's going to happen with him there, like job wise, if he's going to be part time as Spider Man still. Um, we saw the, the Lizard Man, who's not the Lizard Man anymore, but, you know, we, we kind of know from before. Uh, but the game came out that the Lizard Man is going to be like an optional boss in the game. Uh, so, you know, w wondering how the, what's going to happen there. But I guess next time we'll, you know, get a crack at finding Martin Lee and everything. All right, thank you all.